Hello everyone, and welcome back to Hoax Reloaded. Last time, I have my armor. I have the thief set. I'm not wearing it right now. I'm wearing my um, extra high jumpy uh, armor at the moment. It's because I've been doing a lot of building. When I mean a lot of building, that means if I come out here and I pan up, you'll see that my castle is pretty much done. Um, I still need to get some glowstone to go inside the things, and I still need to put windows in, and I still need to cap off the entire roof with slabs. But pretty much other than that, the castle is done. Let me show you around the castle itself. Um, there's the front. Um, the side, the design. Uh, there's actually a death on the back, by the way, where I fell off. Uh, there's no windows yet. Um, the side design. I can come through my room here. <laughs> the other side is identical. The side. And I braced the bottom uh, when they, um, not flat. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you've seen the back before, other than me adding the braces. Boink, boink. Pop. And the back. Uh, no windows yet. I haven't cut the windows out on the top floor yet. Uh, the bottom or the bottom. Will there be on the bottom? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if there's any be on the bottom because it's kind of sunk in. Um, so there might not be on any on the bottom because the way the building is shaped. And on the top, I just need to um, cap it off. And I also did that on the doorways, so I had to do this. I had to do that to get to the... Let me get back up there and I'll show you. Just so I can get to the roof. So I can... It's just a way that I can get to the roof. If I can get up there without falling. Uh, just take my word for it. The roof is flat. I just need to use slabs to um, gap it off. <laughs> I'm just having a hard time climbing ladders. That's why I don't usually try use ladders. Uh, that's why I'm not wearing boots. It would have been a dead durability. Let me show you what else I've done. But yeah, the roof is just flat. It's just... I'm going to use slabs and like completely slab over the roof. Um, I should have gone up over here where I could have easily got up from the roof. Uh, let me just show you that I'm just going to fly up there. I'm just, let me just show you my castle. There's the back. As I said, no windows yet. Um, the side... No windows. Um, the front, no glass yet. And the other side, I gotta move my bookshelves. I decided I wanted them there. And I said I gotta put slabs so I can get rid of all the torches on top. And I went ahead and cut out all the places where the glowstone will shine through. Pretty much. That's his thing. Uh, game, new, game, new, eh. Yeah, but that's what I've been doing, uh, building this monstrosity. But yeah, there's a death point. Um, I haven't got rid of it. It's literally right. It's right here. I fell off scaffolding, um, and I died. I was doing good. I didn't. I only died once. Considering I only died once, I need to delete it. Uh, I only died the once. Which is pretty good, considering. Uh, I actually started working on the walls inside here as well. That's a lot. That was an entire stack of, um, an entire stack of sugar cane. So yeah, I gotta move these bookcases. I may just stack them up here. Um, I haven't done anything with this yet, so, uh, 20. That's the thing. Uh, I haven't done anything else. Oh, I have watering can for it because, let me show you what else I've done. I'm gonna get downstairs. I'm cooking a lot of stone, in fact, to uh, build a slab roof. Yeah, I got some food cooked as well. And down here, I have done this. I found some inner lily seeds in my chest, so I planted them. And to get this, you had to have obsidian with. Uh, you can make them in this. You can make them in this. Uh, you take obsidian because you can make in stone and stone to make this stuff. You can take ender. You take uh, the, you take obsidian and you pour. Um, I could have done sandstone too. So why did I do? Oh, it took less. Um, I took obsidian and poured 
50 uh, millibuckets of ender, which is a total of it's like one fifth of a ender pearl. So I made this mini. There you go. And I also planted my essence berry bushes and I'm collecting them. That's what the watering can was for, so I could build them up. So I've got 29 essence things, which brings me to today, which is I did an enchantment table. Because it's cool that I have this lovely set of armor now. But it needs enchantments. Because I haven't got the arcade enchantment table yet. So let's make an enchantment table. But what better enchantment table than to get this advanced enchantment table? Which is called advanced. Add, add, advanced enchantment table. We'll get that pulled up. I need a book and quill. I gotta have some upstairs, so let's go grab them. Let's grab one anyway. I think they're in this this shelf right here. Yeah. I'll show you why it's good to have that. So we'll put that where it goes. I need gold. One, two, three, four gold. I need an enchantment table, which I've brought one back somewhere. So, somewhere I have one. I brought one back with me from the abyss of the universe. The village where did I put it? Oh, wait, did I use it? I used it, didn't I? I just need to get obsidian in. How many obsidian do I need for this? Two. So I need two and five. I need seven obsidian. So let's go make seven obsidian. So I need a bucket. All my buckets are over here. This is how I've been making obsidian. Uh, one, This is where I've been doing obsidian. Really, this is where I've actually been doing it. It's a lot safer this way. Unless it catches the wood on fire, then it's not safe. So I'm going to pause and collect seven obsidian. Because it's going to be very boring to get this many obsidian. I'll be back. Okay, obsidian achieved. I have seven obsidian. Perfect. So let's go back upstairs and make this enchantment table. I'll have to get a book. Oh, wait, I have a book. That was convenient. Um, enchantment table. Hooray, I got the achieve. Um, and then I need the obsidian. Oh, I only need two. I need an avender. Um, I should have an avender pearl. And I should still have a blaze powder. The deal is, where is the blaze powder gone? Where did I put the blaze powder? I should still have a blaze rod. Maybe I didn't turn it on blaze. Oh, there it is. And I should have enough for this. Okay. And there you go. Advanced enchantment table. I'll go ahead and place this where it goes. Which is in my library. This is the best enchantment table of all time. Um, we're going to put you... I'm going to put it here. Because the books will go here. Uh, yeah. This thing will move then. Um, I want to put it over here. I don't know where I want my stuff to go. Because the books can go down over here and curve around. Um, I have to move that anyway. We'll just shove you over here for now. As far as magic a thing. Um, right now, my max enchantment level is 10. Um, but that's no big deal. Because there's no big deal on it. Uh, I'm just going to bring this in here for now. Because right now I only have 41 levels anyway. So I, I can distribute those around to everything. There's a beauty about this enchantment table. Okay. Let's say I want protection, let's say, 2 on everything. Protection 2 costs 5 levels. Uh, protection 3 costs 9. I can give... This protection three for nine levels. So this thing has protection three. 
Oh, I don't want Protection 3 anymore. I can take it off and get it back. Now I'm leaving Protection 3 on there because I want Protection 3 on it, so I'm leaving it on there. Uh, we're going to give all these things Protection 3. Because, why the heck not? Because it's kind of the point of why I wanted this. Actually, I don't, I'm not going to give Protection 3. I'm going to give Feather Falling 4 um, for this. And I'm going to give this as high as protection as I can. There you go. And there's something else you can do. Um, you can repair things. This is why one of the essence berries. Oh, look, I have 19 levels again. See these for here, their damage? Oh, wait, they, can, they can't be enchanted. Um, I know I have gear that is damaged. Ow. I know I have gear that's damaged. Should I put it in this chest? It's in this chest. Um, like this is my really good blast protection. There's my awesome pants. Let's get these blast protection boots here. Excuse me. I'm not going to do it, but let's just see. Let's take these boots and put them in here. It would take, repair cost takes five levels. It would take five levels to repair these to full. Uh, and I also, I can, uh, it's not giving me that blast position anymore. I can't take this enchantment table, this enchantment off because it wasn't given on this. Uh, I have to repair it first actually, I think. Um, I think you can repair it and then strip the enchantment off if I remember correctly. But it's also a special boot. It might get rid of that plus attack damage. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, since it's a special kind of setup with this particular boot. But I have these protection three thief sets now. But I can actually go in here now. And if I wanted to pick, pick something like magic resistance or something crazy like that. Or aqua affinity or resp respiration on my things. I don't even need my bookcases. You can do this with anything. Like your weapons, your tools, everything. Which is awesome. I love this enchantment table. Let's actually go back in here to this thing. Haste. Uh, we're going to give this unbreaking. Let's see. Not enough bookcases. Require 12. Uh, we're going to give it the unbreaking as well. And we're going to boost it to protection. And we're going to see by giving it some haste. Not enough levels. Okay. Magic resistance. And could it be giving it some magic resistance too. Okay. So there's my awesome enchanted uh, equipment. I have protection 3, protection 3, protection 3, and breaking 1, feather falling 4, uh, magic resistance 2, boots. All because... I went for the advanced enchantment table. You just have to have a blaze rod. That was the only thing. A blaze rod and an integral. And gold. Um, you just basically have to make an enchantment table. And you make this better enchantment table. I love enchanting plus. Um, and for this mod, when you fight all these heavy mod mobs, um, it's, it's absolutely insane. Uh, there's no telling how crazy it is. Oh yeah, I can't jump this. Um, I need to actually create me a back door, I guess. I don't have a way out. I keep forgetting I don't really have... Wow. <laughs> that was amazing. I pretty much flew. I need... I should have got my horse out. I was going to run to this nearby... Um... I have Feather Falling and I took a two block falling damage. Oh no, it took a little tiny bit of damage. Whatever shall I do? You should get so much experience from uh, being able to fight now. This is where I get the blazes. I don't want to fight that kind of tower. Where's that other tower? Where's that weird tower at? The one that I was in before? Um... 
it over here? Oh, I love the thief set. It's now my bestie. Oh, yeah, yeah, here it is. This is the one that I kind of quit on earlier. I'm killing the spawners because I really don't want to have them here anyway. I can get that other boy spawner. That's fine. Mr. Skeleton, look here. I have protection three. I should have actually let him hit me to see how much damage he actually does to me. I guess I kind of really don't want them to hit me either. I need to get a better weapon now. I'm just gonna love my rapier. Um, this is crap. Um, they don't really do that much damage. Uh, a spider spawner? It's a cave spider spawner. Um, an iron pickaxe, I can smelt it. Um, an egg, bowls, a book, and another spawner. So I've already gotten 15 levels. That was kind of, um, anticlimactic. That's cool. Uh, do I have food? Oh, I do have food. Okay, awesome. Uh, let's get back down this place. Was there, was there, was there further down? Or did I miss a level, maybe? I missed the level. I'm killing them all. They're not really hurting me, that's the thing. It's pretty cool, I guess. I was trying to kill the spawner, and the spider popped out. I need to create bookshelves. I literally just skipped this uh, level altogether, is what I did. I'm level 20 now. Why are you shooting from behind? I'm not really taking any damage. Okay. Um, 20. It's taking 20 to your ability pop. Um, I'm at level 5. So, keep going. So if I go into one of these dungeons and be able to get 5 levels of experience, pretty good. So it's the weird shaped, um, these weirdly shaped dungeons. There's another one over here and another one over here. It's pretty cool. Really cool. So that's, one, that's another dungeon down. I'm not really taking that much damage now. It's absolutely crazy. I love it. I love the fact that I'm not, I'm not hardly taking any damage now. And now I can get a lot of magic spell stuff and all that other good stuff. Did I finish this, this dungeon? No, I jumped a bunch of junk in there, it looks like. Uh, is this where I fell down? What the flip happened there? Um... Nothing. I can melt those. I'm literally can just blast these. Look at this. It took me some time to get set up. It really did. Ah, this is where I've got to. It took some time. It literally took some a good deal of time. But now that I'm set up, I have done a lot better. I'm invisible, apparently. Apparently on the bottom floor? No, I can't be. I don't want the creeper to blow up the freaking, um... 
Well, he lived a spawner, that's for sure. He's beneath me, isn't he? I'm trying to get down there to get the chest. Okay. Hang on here. I wasn't quite ready for you yet. Especially when there's a skeleton and a sword here. He's not doing that much damage to me though. I don't want him to wreck my armor. Oof. He does hurt my armor a good bit. I'm trying to fight you, Mr. How am I going to get out of here? That's the question. Okay, now that the tower is down, do I get to get anything out of this? A brewing stand and some redstone lamps. So I'm going to have to use my experience to repair my armor. Some diamonds, a gold, and some redstone. Okay. He doesn't... Okay, when they're upside down, they don't um, destroy the towers. Cool. So I'll be using my experience to repair my armor. It's not that badly damaged. But say, I just defeated two towers right off the bat with this new armor. It took a while to get to this point, but hey. You had to think where I was just a few episodes ago versus now. I just have to be careful. I need to take the enchantment table with me, I guess, to repair my armor. I guess, I suppose. Um, oh, I'm free. Why did I come up here then? There you go. And that was a thing. I didn't mean to jump in with y'all. I didn't mean to jump in with them. I just wanted to... A baby, a baby villager. I want out. Anyway, I think I'm gonna head back to the house now. Check about repairing this armor. See how much more it takes to repair it. Uh, house is the other way, I think. Where am I at? Home is that way. Hi, Mr. Zombies. Uh. See, yeah, auto enchantment table is my favorite thing ever. I had one in my, um... I had one in my freaking castle that was in my last world. That was back before I... My world got erased from my hard drive crash. Yeah, I had a nice, lovely, comfortable corner of my castle. Now I have it in this lovely little castle. Yeah, nice. It's pretty. I need windows though. Wow, I move so fast. Let's see how long, uh, how much experience it takes to repair this stuff. It takes two. So let's go ahead and repair it up. I guess if I keep it repaired. Two, that's three, four. Um, for nine levels. It took nine levels to get everything repaired back up. But I gained 25. Trade off. That's the thing. Um, so I guess with that, I will leave it here. This was in the enchantment. It's an awesome episode. Uh, so yeah. For Hex Reloaded, this is the best enchantment table ever. Uh, but yeah. Until next time, guys. I'm a pincushion. Bye.